93.9 Proud FM, the Sean Show, driving you home and into Pride Week, 512 in the afternoon. Hey, his mother predicted he'd be a star 48 some years ago, and when is mama ever wrong? RuPaul Andre Charles became a worldwide legend in his own time, a door-crashing history maker, discovering the gorgeous sashing, chanting, glamazon within, and is in town for Pride this Sunday, the Big Circa closing party. And we just heard Star Booty there. RuPaul, how are you doing? I am doing so great. I'm so excited to be coming to Toronto. I'll tell you, Toronto is excited to be seeing you. I can't wait to see you perform. It's been a long time since you've been to our fair city. Oh, well, not too long. I try to not stay away for too long. In fact, did you notice I said Toronto and not Toronto? Yes, appreciate that. <laughs> Appreciate that. You've been around a long time, and you are a self-made person. And I wonder what you would attribute uh, to your longevity as a, as a performer and as an artist, because a lot of people you're, of your ilk have come and gone ten times over. You're still around. Well, you know, I, my, my biggest challenge in my career, and always has been, is to stay interested in what I'm doing. And, and honestly, that is the hardest thing to do. If you've seen it all and done it all, you know, to be able to come back to it and say, I'm still interested in doing it, is, is the biggest feat. That's my biggest challenge. So then what are I, I the like, aspects that make you still interested? Well, I love to laugh. I love colors. I love textures. I still love to travel, even though, you know, the, the security... <laughs> at the airports is, is pretty atrocious. Oh, yes, I know. But I still ex- love experiencing new people and uh, just being creative and, and just experiencing life on this planet. I interviewed you about four years ago when you were last in Toronto, and you said that uh, one of the, the tricks for you in, in keeping all the balance of your lifestyle was clean living. Is that still the case? <laughs> Come on. Yeah. The it, truth, it, it, RuPaul. It, it is. It is true, you know. I, um, you know, it wasn't always true. You know, I've, I'm, you know, I've done a lot of different things in my life. But you know, these days, for me to be able to keep up the energy, it's important for me to, you know, to do right by my body. So, yeah. I think one of the things, because you're talking about um, your longevity from from um, you being interested in what you're doing, and I think one of the things that makes you really interesting from an audience standpoint is uh, that you've created a, a whole life for yourself. You are a self-made person, and I know that when we talked last, you said it was really important for you, for young people, to see that anyone can do their own thing and create a life for themselves. Absolutely. In fact, we've got a, a reality show that we're doing here in the U.S. Uh, it comes on Logo in January, and basically we're looking for America's next top RuPaul. And RuPaul's Drag Race, it's called. Absolutely. And so, you know, the contestants were hope, hopefully are are showgirls who are able to speak and be um, and 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 create and to sing and perform and act and and pretty much do it all. So, uh, you know, hopefully. You know, young people will be inspired by my story and and come and join in. Hey, you're listening to the best of the Sean Prue Show and our conversation with the one and only RuPaul. Hey, you're listening to the best of the Sean Prue Show and our conversation with the one and only RuPaul. When you see showgirls of today, what are they doing right? What they're doing right is a lot of the shame attached to boys dressing or playing with girls stuff is, is, is gone. And actually, you see that in... Um, also, in a lot of male porn, a lot of the younger models who are coming up don't have the shame that mm-hmm. was attached to it many years ago, which is a good thing. And what are they doing wrong? A lot of the kids have this American Idol mentality, which which they believe that their career is supposed to be handed to them as soon as they throw their hat in the ring. And a lot of kids don't want to pay their dues. The universe will teach them that that's not the case and it's not my job to teach them that but you know it's it's a very dangerous place to to go because you you're setting yourself up for an early disappointment you're giving me trust me because of i I was around for many many years before anybody knew my name and and you're giving me the same kind of uh, really good vibe that i got from you last time we talked you're so positive you're so upbeat and you really believe that what 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 goes around comes around and i know something else that you you believe too and that's um the power of 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 living right in the moment are you still focused on that you said that's the one thing you try and uh, and stay um, focused on every day absolutely absolutely and it's not always easy especially when the material world absolutely. is really focused on um the past and and past hurts and all that stuff and you acquiring know? for the future and what you're going to get yes. tomorrow 
Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. In fact, I, I just had a delicious Caesar salad. I'm sitting at my New York apartment looking out at this beautiful tree, getting to talk to you. Someone's <laughs> in the now. Someone's in the now. <laughs> you, you're also in another gay sequel, which is making the festival circuit right now, I know. And there's a theatrical release in New York City mid-August. Tell us about that. It's a very funny movie. In fact, I was so impressed with Todd's first Todd Stevens' first movie um, was, well, it wasn't his first, but the first in this series called Another Gay Movie. I was so impressed by it that, you know, I called him up and said, you know, um, look, if there's anything in it for me in the next one, you know, remember, and he, of course, he went ahead and he put me in it. This movie exemplifies people who are loving their life, who happen to be gay, and aren't ashamed of it. I gotta tell you, I just love your attitude so much, and I can't wait to see you at Circa on Sunday night for the, uh, the Pride, Pride Toronto closing party. Wigmore, do you have a question for this uh, outstanding person? Here? Well, I guess I, I'm, I'm interested to know what you have in mind for Circa for a big closing night party. What's, what's the show going to be like? Well, I'm going to do songs from my music career okay. um, going, uh, you know, as recent as my Star Booty movie, which came out last summer, and I have uh, songs from the Star Booty movie that I do in the show, all the way back to, you know, um, Supermodel and House of Love. So, And then, you know, lots of costumes and all the, you know, uh, trickery that... Uh... Do, you, do you have to keep up with, with fashion for as far as your uh, all your changes as, was, as we go through the years? You've been leading that. Well, you know what's interesting about that is I'm, I'm actually have a fitting later today with the guy who I've been working with for many years. And what happens is you get to a certain point where you understand your own proportions, mm -hmm. you understand what your energy is about. That's what and, I was thinking, you, yeah. And you, you follow that. You know, trends come and go, but once you know thyself, when you know yourself, you know exactly what the situation calls for. That's so funny because the, the, the poster of you is everywhere throughout Toronto advertising your performance and the big party at Circa. And I look at that and I think that is so RuPaul. That is so RuPaul. <laughs> what picture the big are they blonde, It's the big blonde wig. You're you're in sort of a black uh, across the breast dress, and you got a hand on your hip, and you've got this orange eyeshadow coming up off of uh, the top of your eye. It's uh -huh. fierce. It's fierce. It's fierce. It's very eye catching. And as I said, it looks. I'm like that is the essence of you. Can't wow. wait. Can't wait for Sunday. Excellent. Excellent. RuPaul 